Merhaba arkadaşlar. Ne oldu birden? Neymiş? So I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice. You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but it's fine, Erin. Please, I squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but you have to let this go. We're fine, Erin. Okay. Koşma bence var ya bu hani bölümde koşma yapmışlar ya. Koşma varsa kesin kovalamacı olacak ha. <gülüyor> bence onu gösteriyordum. Maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... Assistant. Personal assistant. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth, is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Hmm, I'm not sure what it is. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello, Mr. Dumet. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will I be, Mr. Dumas, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. 
Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it! <laughs> I'll be honest, it's probably just a second to leave here. Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say, we have our man. kolumuzu soğuttuk. Belki o şeyi alsaydık para atıp başımıza öyle gelecekti belki.
vai, 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 vai. Bu orayı da öyle açabilir miyim acaba? Ama o seçenek var diyor. Come on, you piece of shit! Don't do this to me. Ah, can I walk through you? Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna get the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Christmas, man. When did we keep? Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Come on, can they be she what uh Oh you never used it? Shot on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing. Is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have starlight? Yeah. I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. 
I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make oh, for a cool on. angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crack. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion of fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably... So, if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in oh, here. He so, maybe we should take care. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like the Met is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? through. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way. January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you try to learn something. To kill you to be direct. You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, 
Maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been selling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Bakalım buralarda ne varmış? Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Şu yazı bir geçmese Hemen geçiyor ya Buradan geçit bir yolu. Ee, ne, ne yapacağız acaba? Ha şöyle git git. Şöyle o zaman çık buradan. Buradan da böyle tırma. Yok bir yukarı daha var. Bir yukarıya da çıkacağız.
score. Acaba burada ne yapacağız? Buraya geldik de. Hmm. Bizim yukarıya tırmanmamız gerekiyor. Nasıl yapabiliriz? Buradan atlamamız gerekiyor aslında ama şuradan da geçecek ya yani. nasıl geçeceğiz? Çek gibi şeyler de göstermediydi bana.
Je vais laisser tous les... Euh... Be right back. Oradan oraya geçeceğiz. Öyle atlıyoruz. Hop. Şey gelmedim yani. Beni buraya yönlendirdiğine göre bir şey var ki buraya geldik. Allah Allah. Ama buraya kitle olamaz ya. He, bak şuradanmış. Anladım ama bizim amacı bak şu anahtarı almak. Doğru bunu alacaktık biz. Balkon. Şu neymiş? saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Ooh. Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. Ah! 
See? Well, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Ama kan var baksana. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lawn at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what portrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour him up. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to him coming. Wait, what, why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Tell me. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It was him and some girl. They were in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave?
I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm trying to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you! Lower your voices. Why? He's not here! But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Yeah. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? We're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? Are we just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. All right, enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team, given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait. Give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. I've got so many options. And of course you're the martyr. You're going to find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough Sunday school bullshit. Charlie, what's your problem now? You know, you don't always have to get a word in, Jamie. You do your best work when you're silent. Trust me. Come on, Charlie. You want us to rally behind you. Stop treating us like crap. You... I'm sorry. You're right. I'm on edge without smoke. Let's just all relax. So, we just gonna sit here and drink waiting for Demet to show up to his own party? His house, his rules. I'm sure we'd all rather be shooting. Or at home watching TV. But we have to make the best of it until he shows. What do we do? We're like, alone here. We don't have our phones. It's not like we can leave until he's back. May as well keep busy. Let's just shoot. Come on. He knows what we're here to do. He can't act like we're breaking his rules. Well, unless there's something he doesn't want us to shoot. Come on. I'm dying. We just need to be patient. I'm sure he's on his way. Is he then? I don't know. Let's set up in the lobby. If he shows and wants us to stop, fine. If he doesn't, at least we'll have something in the can. Hang on. All right, fine. Fuck it. Let's do it. No, go set up. Won't hurt to be ready either way. No, I suppose not. I'll be along with it. Oh, shit!
süper o gözlüklüyü yapmışlar. Sanırım kuklalar ne yapıyorlar? Kulaklığı takma be. Oo, belliydi zaten bak. Ee, biz şey yapmaya gelmişiz yani. Ne diyorsunuz ona ya? Uf ses geliyor. Vaka araştırmaya gelmişiz. Bak belli yani elimizi şunlara bak. Ee, bu bölümün de sonuna geldik arkadaşlar. Görüşmek üzere. Hoşça kalın.